Contact tracing apps are stirring controversy as critics say big tech could collect and use personal data for political purposes. One America's Christian Rose has more. Housing, testing, contact, tracing, and other priorities I proudly support. The Democrat cabal in Washington seems to be weaponizing COVID-19 to extend government surveillance and control. And big tech appears glad to oblige. Over the past few days, Apple and Google rolled out so-called contact tracing apps to track users' movements and social interactions. The apps come under the guise of protecting public health, but privacy advocates say this amounts to unconstitutional intrusion of people's private lives. It could reveal that you've been going to some sensitive place, it can track your movements, and it can build a full picture of your associations. So it obviously raises privacy concerns. Apple and Google control almost 100% of the international smartphone market between them, meaning this harvesting of contact tracing data is taking a global turn. In America, contact tracing is spearheaded by the Democrat-proposed bill H.R. 6666 that will allow to identify, search and lock up citizens flagged as at risk of COVID-19. Now that the big tech is on board, contact tracing is even more likely to be used for political purposes, as tech giants have a history of suppressing conservatives and right-wing activists for years now. Much like after 9-11, we are seeing a, the kind of panic response leading to a renegotiation of values that have been long protected. And while Google and Apple apps pose a rising threat of government tyranny, there is a myriad of third-party apps that also harvest contact data for personal purposes unclear. Critics say foreign governments, terror groups and cyber criminals may collect contact tracing data for various purposes, but all disguised as helping stop coronavirus. For example, oppressive regimes like mainland China and Iran may trace dissidents abroad and hunt them down. Additionally, contact tracing may help terror groups identify targets for future attacks, while criminals can plan illicit activities based off the target's movement records. Remember what Judy just said, you don't give up your social security number, your bank account number, anything like that, either in a text or on the phone. And the spot positivity. And while the Democrat deep state, their corporate allies and stooges in mainstream media all disparage privacy concerns as conspiracy theories, many Americans disagree. A recent poll from University of Maryland finds 56% of respondents do not trust big tech when it comes to contact tracing. 43% of Americans also mistrust public health agencies amid latest revelations of deep state ties and Democrat biases among so-called experts. It is a travesty and it is tyranny. And this was a test. This was a test of our government to see how easy it would be to lay down our rights and our liberty. All the while, top Democrat officials are fueling the virus scare to attack President Trump and extend outreach to the hearts and minds of voters ahead of this year's elections. It remains to be seen if citizens push back on the big tech data harvesting to protect what's left of their constitutional freedoms. Christian Rose, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.